throughout the test of time, we've always wondered, does Costa taste as good as Lidl? Well, no fucker ass, but we're doing it anyway. Hello everybody, it's Judge's Free Time here. Uh, today we're going to be testing out two different coffees. I just saw Sean's face. I try my best not to, uh, uh, what's that, keep deep composure or something. Mm. This is Bella Coffee, or Cafe. And this is Costa. Now you can buy a three pack of these for now £10 from Asda. Other shops are better than Asda. So, yeah. Here's a fresh amount of water, ready to go. Um, this is so it looks like I'm not cheating or anything. Oh, and this is the cappuccino we'll be comparing the cost of two. Not sure if it's picked it up, yes it is. Yep. There we go. Screen turns if you wonder. Yeah, so here's some fresh water. And yes, I am gonna put some sugar in it because uh, I don't know about you, but sugar is good in coffee. <clears throat> Jamie Oliver. Yeah, most of that. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two spoons, so there's no mixed mixture or anything like that. You're sick yet from the turning around. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and if you've noticed, yes, this is a new toaster. And by the way, ladies and gents, this is a very safe thing to do, by the way. Yeah, uh, obviously you don't turn it on, you do this. <laughs> yeah, new toaster because the other one's knackered. So this is the Bella capsules. <clears throat> the one we purchased from Lidl and this is what they look like. And another thing you may have noticed is the packaging is different compared to the other packaging you saw from the other Versus video. That's because they've changed it since, look. It tells you what to do in here. It tells you all the gump you need to know. You know, just says time for a good cup of coffee and it's not wrong sometimes. And other information on the back. So obviously we didn't get just one box of Costa we got loads of them. Let's just hope we fucking like them. <laughs> right, so without further ado, this one hasn't been opened just for test purposes. So we're going to open this like a gorilla. And one thing I like about Costa is they do this as well in the box. So. Mm, that's the freshness. Yeah. Mmm, smell. Oh, that is brilliant, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so let's see. I'm the milk. No shit. And this one is the coffee. These capsules don't look like these ones. Hmm, mm. interesting. I'm guessing they're going for I'm the milk sort of thing. I noticed a lot of trend with these Americano cappuccino like brands. Like, they always leave the milk capsule always white for some reason. Yeah, that's just to indicate that it's milk because some people get it confused, like me once on the video. Mm. Uh, that was embarrassing. Right, right, so. Let's make ourselves two cups of coffee. Now, the Poundland mug is going to have the Bella coffee and the Costa one is gonna be in the bold Dolce Gusto because, you know, it is a brand of uh, Dolce Gusto, I think, and uh, Nescafe. Right, I'm dropping things a lot today. You notice that, folks. Oh well. What can expect? So we'll see if this is any good. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on, like so. I'm going to have three big spoons like I always do to make it fair. Uh, so, you know, the, the reason why we're using separate spoons is so there's no decontamination in it. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Now, right. And there's no contamination with one spoon at the moment, but it will be soon. So we're going to start with this one. So it's going to be interesting to see what this is like. So milk is first and it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do it by instructions as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's six, wasn't it? I think it was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So here we go. Where did I put the other spoon? <laughs> uh, I didn't. Uh, 
shit. Oh well, uh, next one, it requires one, but we'll make it two to make it fair, because we always use two anyway. I know it says one, but it's recommended to use two. Two. Oh, there it is, it's stuck. <laughs> we use this one then for the thing. So this is the Bella, obviously. So, yeah. Smelling it right now, you can actually smell it, it's quite nice. But will it beat Costa? It does smell a lot like Costa, actually. So I'm wondering if this is Costa, but in a different capsule. There's that, Ooh, weird noises. Right, that's that one. And to stop the contamination, i to clean up that. And then put in the next one. So there's that one. I'm gonna stir it. I'm gonna put this up here for now. And now it's time for the Costa brand. So this one, see look, this one's honest. It says two bars there. Right, one, two, three, four. Uh, it says four, but I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Uh. Maybe cheating that we're going up one bar, but remember, you know, this is a big cup after all. Yes. So that was the Costa milk. I wonder if it's full fat they're using. Oh. One right. second, folks. It came everywhere. <laughs> the doctor said I wouldn't fucking have that problem anymore. <laughs> right, now time for the coffee. So it's in, off it goes. Two bars, like it says, at least it's honest. Super slow. Okay, cameraman, let's uh, go to the testing rig. Okie doke. So we have two somewhat looking delicious looking coffees. Bella to the left, Costa to the right. How simple can it get? Right. Little first. Nice as usual. Next is Costa Coffee. Now, if this is disappointing than the Nescafe one, I'd be real pissed. Because they were like a three something pound a box. But yet again, they were reduced to a ten of a three. Must be a reason. Smelling this up close. The better smells nicer. But let's see what it tastes like. Watery. Watery milk is the word I would say. This one's like a very frothy mixture. This one's like waterier. It's nice, but it just, it tastes like Nescafe. Not Nescafe, fuck, what am I talking about? The other one, the Dodgy Gusto. Yeah, Nescafe. Have I got it right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, Nescafe, Dodgy Gusto, yeah. Hmm, let's see what the cameraman thinks. Okay, so I'm here, about to do the taste test myself. Right, the left one is the, the Bella left coffee. Left one is the Bella, yes, I yep. know that. That's what you're making. Very good, always a good cup, always a good cappuccino to wake up to. Next one's Costa. Next one is Costa, you should be. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It may just be the cup it's in or not, but I don't know. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Very... That's weak, the Costa one. Is it? 
That is weak. Yeah. Hmm. That is weak. Very weak coffee. Also, the milk felt a bit watery. Mm. Or is it me? I don't know. In fact, hold on. There's a slightly aftertaste that reminds. There's a slight aftertaste in this that reminds me of sugar puffs. Hmm. To me, it's uh, tastes like the next cafe one. Uh, Not that there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a bit. Ugh. Yeah, the aftertaste reminds me of sugar puffs. And the Bella one is thicker, creamier. Mm. How is the cheaper one better? <sighs> what can you do, folks? So, final verdict is. Cost uh, not really worth the money. Oh. Yeah, well, that's only on the cappuccino. I mean, the, the rest might be a bit better. Yeah, yeah. We'll, go, we'll, we'll probably update you on the rest of like the. No, we'll put it something. in this video or something, saying yeah. that it's shit or something. Yeah. Although, I th although I think uh, what's the name? I think tomorrow morning I'll try this in my what's the name? My glass cup. It might taste different. Okay, so earlier, as you just said, we tried the what's the name? Starbucks in a bigger mug, and we said it tasted watery and all that, and. Jake and I decided maybe it needed to be made in a smaller cup, so as you can see we've made it in a smaller cup and I'm going to try and give you my verdict. Here we go. Well, it is definitely a lot nicer. Definitely a lot less watery than it was in the big mug, at least. I mean, granted, it's still like, as Jacob said, it still tastes like Nescafe Zone, but yeah. Yeah, I think um, in future, if you're going to make this, definitely recommend making it in a smaller mug, not a big mug. Otherwise, it's just going to taste all watery and like sugar puffs. Well, that wasn't the problem. The problem was, was that when we put it in the coffee machine, we didn't realise this, but... Uh, well, we did realise it in, uh, during the video, but we didn't think it would affect it that badly. But what happened was, while it was dripping the milk, we noticed it was dripping water in a, in a separate bit of the funnel. It's done this in the past before when we've done beverages and it has somewhat affected it in the past like that and actually upset us really badly when that happens. So my suggestion is if you get a watery fucking mixture just get rid of it and start a new one because this one turned out okay. Um, the problem wasn't the big mug, as he said. It was actually something to do with the fact that that the pod was faulty because the pod was dripping water as well as that. That's why it was so watery. Now we taste it. It tastes a lot like Nescafe, like I said earlier on. So we weren't wrong in the sense of it tasting like Nescafe, but it was watery because there was water coming out of the fucking nozzle. We only realised this um during the video but we didn't think of putting it in as much i don't think i think we did say it somewhere in the video but i'm not sure we'll have to find out during the video but yes hi apologies and um we do make mistakes here at uh judge free time so just for to let you know that so he's now gonna enjoy costa coffee it's not bad um, I wouldn't recommend with the milk putting it as four low. I'll put it like five or six or something like that and then put two on the other one to make it perfect. But the only reason it was watery was because the fucking pods failed while well, the milk pod failed. It, it, it basically, uh, Nescafe has this reputation of doing this anyway. It, Nescafe always has this problem and I don't understand why because Nescafe is not a cheap brand so that's fucking retarded. You would have thought that the Bella coffee would be worse. But anyway, that, I thought we'd address that. We do apologize. Bye bye out of this clip. Now back to the main video itself. Well, we'll wait for the editing tomorrow. Okay. And then I'll put it in the edit that is better in the glass cup. But okay. glass cup or not, it shouldn't. It's a, it's an, I don't know. It's a normal cup. It's near the same size. Yeah, that has a like a sugar, it reminds me of sugar puffs if I'm honest. Just, uh, just the, like the aftertaste just says like, I, I get the aftertaste I'm immediately reminded of the honey monster in my head, you know? I'm gonna try this one more time, just to be fair. The Bella one's very nice, very sweet. What you expect. Costa coffee. A very weak, yeah, very weak. Don't say it. This is quite weak. 
I wonder if Nescafe give them the the coffee mm. and uh, or in fact does Costa I bet Costa has nothing to do with this I think it's all to do with Nescafe to be honest mm. they thought well it tastes a bit like Costa let's put it in there fuck it let's worry what they're saying um, I was expecting more. This is a brand new box as well and it tastes watery. I wouldn't say I wouldn't drink it though. I mean, it's pretty nice, but I was expecting it to be a little bit better than that. Bella coffee. So yeah, but it's in. If it's on offer, get it. If it's not on offer, it's three pounds only for these. I wouldn't recommend the cappuccino one. Um, maybe the others are better. We'll probably put that in the video title thing. But this is the winner again. <laughs> Can the cheapest one be the winner? I mean, you know, it's better when it opens out, better looking. Um, okay, it's more fresher looking, but uh, and better looking. But I'm guessing they sacrificed all the logos and shit and the rights to you just use the cheap shitty one. And then this cheap shitty one is just one. Yeah, just use any old box shit, and we will put the coffee in. But yeah, that's the final verdict. I prefer this one, sadly. And we went all the way to fucking Asda for that. We're about two miles away. <sighs> I'm not doing that again. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to come and subscribe. Have you tried this coffee? What do you think? Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye, people.